You're watching 7 Action News, always taking action for you. We have some top tips for you to avoid getting hurt as you get out and celebrate on the water this weekend. A physical therapist from the Recovery Project is here in studio to tell us all about that. It's known as the unofficial kickoff to summer, and we want to make sure you and your family are safe this Memorial Day weekend. So here with some top water and boat boating safety tips is Polly Swingle, a physical therapist with the Recovery Project. Thanks so much for coming in Thank on you. this early Saturday morning. All right, so tell us, what do you guys do at Recovery Project, and what kind of injuries do you see? Well, we are an outpatient physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy facility, and we see a lot of neurological injuries that can be caused from accidents accidents um, from driving accidents to water accidents to all types of accidents. And the focus right now on water accidents, when it comes to those injuries, what do you see there? Well, right now at this time of the year, we see uh, more and more type of accidents from minor to severe from people um, being active in the water. And it can be in the lakes, it can be in swimming pools, from people diving or even jumping. And sometimes we also see some accidents from the water sports, from boating accidents to jet skiing accidents as well. Is there a particular group more prone to the accidents that you see in your yes. experience? Yes. Um, unfortunately, we do seem to notice that there is a higher incident of males mm -hmm. between the age of 15 and 30 with these type of incidents and accidents. You know, apparently this is kind of the group that seems to be a little bit more risk-taking. They, at this age, a lot of times don't feel they're, in or they do feel that they're invincible mm -hmm. and uh, seem to be a little bit more rowdy at times. So tell us, you know, when you're thinking about going out there, and parents certainly probably worried about their kids, but a lot of adults out there on the boats as well, what kinds of things that should people do to kind of keep safe out there? Well, one of the things I always tell people is number one is that a parent should always be with their child mm -hmm. and they should really be supervising them because even in a swimming pool, it can take two seconds and then that child could be, you know, drowning or having difficulty with swimming. Second is that if you're around a pool or in a lake, if you cannot see the bottom, if there is not clear visibility, that you should never ever dive into the water, even in a swimming pool. If you're not sure the depth yeah. of that pool, you should always jump feet first into those type of, of water um, and then also if you're on a boat that you really have to always wear your life jacket even if you're an expert swimmer you should always wear a life jacket because if something would happen and you can't see the bottom of the lake then if something if you'd fall in you wouldn't be able to find you then also always avoid alcohol yeah. if you're driving a boat or on a jet ski and just you know if that should happen if you do get injured what should you do especially being out there on the water I mean you need to do things to, to make sure you're prepared should something go wrong exactly so if something would ever happen the first thing you want to do is not move that person always stabilize their neck if they're in the water you can float them in the water and stabilize their neck number two call 911 mm -hmm. if you can don't move that person until emergency personnel get there all right Polly thank you so much for joining us Polly Swingle from the recovery project and hopefully everyone stays safe this summer season thanks so much for being here. You're welcome. Thank you. Guys, over to you. All right, great tips, ladies. Of course, when we talk about pools and boating, boy, people want to get out on that water.